Depression is becoming more and more common with each passing year, and has started affecting people at younger and younger ages. Although medication plays an important and sometimes life-saving intervention, we believe that treating the root cause, but not the symptoms, will eventually lead to mental success. Hello everyone, and welcome to Five Pillars Health, the channel where we show you the best ways to get healthy and stay healthy through the five pillars of sleep, hydration, nutrition, movement, and sunlight. Antidepressants work by increasing neurotransmitters, which are responsible for serotonin levels in the brain. Serotonin is a feel-good brain chemical. Although antidepressants work, they come with a host of side effects. We believe it's better to fight depression naturally, at the root cause, by achieving optimal balance in all areas of our lives. The rise in modern food production and technology correlated with a rise in lifestyle-related diseases, with the common approach being taking a pill instead of changing the lifestyle factors that led to the disease in the first place. Depression is classified as a disease. In this video, we'll outline a few ways you can stay on top of your mental health by cutting out some things, whilst adding in some others. Diet more and more studies are coming out that prove a link between the gut and the brain. The gut is referred to as the second brain, and its health directly correlates with the health of your brain. People with mood disorders are deficient in certain gut bacteria, compared to those with more stable moods. So how can we make sure we look after our guts to create the right bacteria that regulates our mood? Cut out excess sugar, junk food, and toxic trans fats like margarine and seed oils by replacing them with healthy fats like pure grass-fed butter, animal fats, coconut oil, avocado oil, and extra virgin olive oil. Foods that cause inflammation cause inflammation all over our bodies, including our brains, so it's no wonder that bad diets can cause mood imbalances, including depression. Sunlight Ever notice that after a day spent at the beach or park, you feel calmer, happier, and less stressed? Apart from the benefits of grounding and fresh air, vitamin D levels have been found to have a direct relationship with alleviating depression. Your muscles, heart, brain, and immune system all have vitamin D receptors. Vitamin D is therefore crucial in supporting even the most basic functions of our organs. If these organs aren't operating optimally, especially the brain, it's no surprise that we're more prone to imbalances, including those linked to mood and anxiety. We believe that the modern messaging around sun exposure has been skewed and misunderstood, with mainstream medicine advocating for total sun abstinence, citing cancer as the reason we should be avoiding the sun. This is again a solution for treating symptoms and not the root cause. Did you know that your diet plays a big role in your sensitivity to the sun? People with sensitive and reactive skin have reported being able to spend more time in the sun without getting burnt once they started eating better. This, however, does not mean you should spend hours and hours in the sun. You should spend a healthy amount of time suited to your skin type. Apps like D-Minder can track and time your levels of vitamin D so you don't overdo it. If you're in an area that doesn't get a lot of sun, or if you're in winter, supplementation is recommended. Make sure to find a supplement with K2 for maximum absorption. Exercise Exercise is another natural way to beat the blues. I'm sure we're all aware that exercise boosts endorphins, another feel-good chemical in our brains. Aside from endorphins, exercise boosts our self-confidence and regulates our blood sugar, so we don't suffer from the very popular hangry headspace. Endorphins are released after high-intensity exercise, but according to Harvard Health, it's actually low-intensity exercise sustained over time that is the real key to improving your mood. Low-intensity exercise releases proteins known as growth factors, Growth factors cause nerve cells to grow and make new connections. Nerve cells are the cells particularly found in our brains, so if these guys are growing and firing up, we can expect good mental clarity. Neuroscientists have proved that the hippocampus part of the brain, which is the region responsible for mood regulation, is smaller in people who suffer from depression. Exercise supports the growth of the nerve cells in the hippocampus, therefore improving nerve cell connection and alleviating depression. 
The key to incorporating exercise into your routine is to find something you can enjoy. It can even be as simple as going for a neighborhood walk, dancing around your room, or cycling to and from work. If you're enjoying this video, please tap the like button. It helps us to bring you new videos every week. Sleep. If you haven't already seen our video on the importance of sleep, we'll remind you that it is one of the best things you can do to achieve optimal health. Sleep is important for the basic functions of every cell in your body, which includes the cells in our brains responsible for mood regulation. Ever feel a bit grumpier on a poor night's sleep? Our brain on a poor night's sleep is starved for energy and cannot accomplish all the day's tasks when it hasn't received its minimum seven hour rest period. Studies conducted by Johns Hopkins showed that people who suffer from insomnia are more prone to depression than those who manage to get enough consistent sleep. Stress. Stress can be linked to sleep in that adults who sleep less than eight hours a night report higher stress levels than those who manage to get eight or more. Those with less than seven have higher amounts of stress. Those with less than six have even higher and so on and so forth. Apart from sleep disturbances causing low moods, stress in itself can adversely affect your tolerance to depression. Not managing to make time to de-stress and take a step back from the craziness of life can lead to all sorts of imbalances. At Five Pillars, we strongly believe that mental health is linked to physical health. We all lead busy lives, but putting time aside is important in managing depression, even if it's just five minutes to disconnect and meditate in whatever form works for you. Stress management looks different to everybody, and finding what works for you can take some time. Stress management also means surrounding yourself with people and relationships that add value to your life. We can't always control what life throws at us, but we can control how we manage ourselves in times of stress. Simple things like going for a walk without your phone, five minutes of deep belly breathing, or prioritizing sleep and healthy eating can be simple ways to de-stress and decompress. If you're finding yourself more prone to low moods or depression, why not try out these simple yet effective ways to combat them? Are there any other lifestyle practices you've incorporated that have helped you beat your blues? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, well, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if you want to be notified when our next video is out, hit the notification bell. Check out our other videos for more insightful ways to get healthy and stay healthy.